Hello everyone! Welcome out to another video. Uh, today, Shay is sick, so I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm going to call this series of videos, Kevin Plays a Mech Game! Because if you know anything about me, you know that I really like Gundam, and all things giant robot. Uh, so basically the rules for the series are going to be, I'm going to play a game where you play as a mech, or you control a mech. Something along those lines. And while you might think I'd start with a, uh, a Gundam game, I'm actually going to start with, with, with what is undeniably my favorite Sega Genesis game, Ranger X. Uh, so just I'll say a little bit about it before we get going. Uh, it was released in 1993 by a company called GAU Entertainment, published by Sega, so it's only on the Sega Genesis, which is pretty neat. Um, and... Other than that, I think it's a great game, so let's get going. Ooh. BIOS, processor, AI systems. Oh, look at these wireframe graphics. Oh, they are so good. <laughs> um, I, as a kid, I thought these games were great. Or these graphics were great. Um, but don't worry, they'll get, they'll get way better. <laughs> Okay, so they launch us right into the action. There we go. So we play as this mech, this blue thing you can see in the center. We can fly around, so left, right, up, down. This blue thing here heals us. Um, and so A will fire that way, C will fire this way, and B will fire uh, our special weapon. And so you can see bottom left-hand corner is our life, uh, and then sort of in the middle shows what special power we have for the moment and then how much power we have remaining and then there's a little gauge on the far right that shows um, our flight gauge. So if it goes too red, so if I go up, it'll turn off and we have to wait for recharge. This bike we can kind of control when you land on it. Uh, it's called X-Up, you can go inside and there's a couple of advantages to that. One, we can change our special power. Um, you'll notice that when we fire, it also fires and when you're inside of it it fires homing shots, which is super neat. Yeah, get out of there. I think that these guys look like the uh, uh, little mouse robots from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, kind of cool thing, you can see uh, sort of top center is that um, it shows the number of like objectives remaining and a little bit of radar. And you can see in the background what we're actually showing is like enemy artillery that's attacking there you go. Yeah, get some. Uh, this capital with a giant spaceship above it. So we're trying to protect this capital. And every time we destroy one, you'll see that there's uh, less of this artillery coming at us. So the bike can't fly, but it can jump, which is pretty neat. Um, so with special powers, we have this sort of like landmine grenade -y thing. Mm, yeah. And a flamethrower. And we'll get more as the game goes on. So we go. So we got four left. I like to stay in the bike when I'm zipping along the dunes because it's super fast. And then those guys fire missiles, and the missiles can be destroyed by this guy's lock-on thing. And then when they're closed up, they're invincible. And oh, I should switch weapons. Um, you can only attack them when they're open, which is pretty neat. There you go. So now you see where there's only three artillery things left. Um, and another nice thing is the bike and you have different amounts of health. So, uh, so it's kind of like getting double health. These blue things heal you, so what they do is they exchange your, your special weapon power for, um, for health. And you notice that like our uh, special weapon power will start to go back up. So it's actually solar power. That'll come into play in, in later levels, which is kind of actually a neat touch, if I'm honest. Oh, out of my way, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mouse things. There we go. Whoosh. And then only two left. And so the way the uh, game works is there'll be a number of stages, and at the end of each stage is a boss fight. And it actually has pretty cool boss fights, too. Uh, let's see, he's invincible until we get up in the air. There you go. And one left, and he's right there. And now we fight the commander, 
You can see him drop down in the background. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, this boss fight's actually super easy. Oh, and here's a little bit of story that you get in these kinds of games. I, I don't know who that woman is. I call her the princess. And so she's been captured, and so you have to de uh, defend your city. Or planet. I don't really know which. And this is like one of the easiest boss fights in, in history. So you wait till he comes out, and then you just shoot his legs. Like that. So, oh, there you go. And now you shoot his like flappy mouth thing. Again, you can just you can just stay inside your motorcycle, or well, it's not a motorcycle; it's a unicycle. Motorized unicycle? It's a thing. And then so you just shoot it, and he'll auto-target things. And then now you shoot his head. And I mean, I haven't confirmed this, but I'm pretty sure this is like the dude inside of this is also the final boss of the game. So that's scary. <laughs> and there we go. That's the first level, Dunskies. <laughs> um. Oh, more wireframe graphics. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of impressive for the time. I mean, there's no Mode 7 on the Genesis, so, you know. And I, I, one thing I really like about this game is you see a lot of uh, progression. We'll see it later on in, in some of the other levels, how we've gone from sort of a defensive to an attacking. Um, so here's something kind of... This is where you can see that... Uh, I was talking about how the power is actually uh, solar-powered. So if we destroy this, that turret will stop attacking us. But you can see the power is not recharging, right? But you can go up here and open these little air vents, or well, air vents or whatever they are, and they'll uh, let in sh a shaft of light, and that recharges your power. Ooh, I don't like these things. So the, the, the main objective in this mission is to destroy these, which is not too hard. Get out of there. So down here is uh, acid, so if we were to walk on it, we'd get hurt, but uh, if, as long as we're standing on the, mo the unicycle, the X-Up, we're okay. But if we went inside the X-Up, we'd also get hurt, so I'll just, uh, I won't show that. Um, so we destroy another one of these, that'll take down some turrets power, specifically these guys up here. Oh no, there's a hover tank waiting for us! Thankfully he's waiting in like, the thing that recharges our health. And that... It's, an extra, it's another special weapon, a new one. So I'll show that in a sec. Whoosh. Down we go. Come on, little motorcycle. The motorcycle follows us around, which is pretty neat. Uh, yeah, so... I think the way this thing works is it'll... Uh, I'll demonstrate it more in a second. But I need the... Uh, this is the weapon we want for the moment. They're kind of tricksy. They give you the new one because, you know, they, they, they know you're going to want to use it, but it's actually better to use this ground grenade thing. So we want to get out of there because some rolling boulder things came down at us. So we'll come up here and destroy this guy. Whoosh. Down we go. There we go. Don't worry, there's another vent thing up here. So we want to take down the power to that turret. Um, but then these like weird like worm things come out of this stuff that we shoot. But thankfully, if you see, they're attracted to the light. They're like moths. Um, but it also damages them. Otherwise, you can shoot them for a really long time, and it's hard, for, hard to kill them. So this is why we want the grenade thing, so we can just do some of this. And now we'll come down here, take out this guy. And we've got to come over here and see. Um, kind of a neat thing is this game plays by its own, plays by the rules. So if, if you'd get hurt by something, enemies will get hurt by something as well. Uh, so if we were able to knock enemies into the acid, they'd get damaged. But these guys are smart, because they're hover tanks. So anyway, so we just destroyed some more of those power nodes. So we'll come back and recharge our power, and then we'll go heal up before we hit the next section. Whoosh. This game has such fluid controls. It's... As a kid, it was amazing. I couldn't tell you how awesome I thought this was. I mean, it's the reason it's my favorite... There is a reason why it's my favorite Genesis game, and it's not just because it had a giant robot in it. Uh, there's plenty of giant robot games for the Genesis. Um, there's Battletech and a few others. But this one, this one was something special. Uh, and that's why I like it more than games like Sonic. Sacrilege, I know, but that's okay. Oh, I always hated these guys. I always thought they looked really dumb. 
Like, look at them. They're just like little tiny robot guys. I mean, they don't, it doesn't even look like they have guns, but they're still shooting us somehow. I don't know. That's just my opinion on those guys. Uh, that's... whatever. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. So we need to get through some of this. So we want to let those boulders down so they don't block our way. One thing I used to like to do was trap the, like, wormy guys in between these two vents. So we go, there's one, and there's another. Haha, -ha, suck it. <laughs> so those boulder things actually have the wormy guys in them too, which is a little unnerving. So we want to try and not let them out. So there we go, take out this. I think we can even, so we should be able to kick that down. Oh, never mind, can't. Let's just get out of the way of those. I think. Yeah, we should be able to just take out that, and now we can kick it down there, and it might even destroy it. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> you just made it angry. That's okay. This thing should be dead in a second, anyway. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. I guess kicking the boulder down there did hurt it, which is pretty sweet. Okay. Let's go back on our cycle. See, so, yeah, if we were to... Uh, we can kick the boulders, but if we had driven through them, it would have hurt us. But because it hurts us, it'll also hurt bad guys' stuff. So if we do... Come on. Shazam! Uh, we don't want to go down there. There's a pit of acid. That would be awful. But like I said, just like how acid hurts us, it'll also hurt these guys. Get in the acid. Watch as he, like, shakes. and He doesn't like being in there, but he can't get out. I think we can do... Yeah, there's another one. And you. I just like kicking him in there. I don't, I don't really know why. I think it's partly because I hate these guys. So, there we go. We're almost to the end of the level, uh, and then we get onto the boss fight part. So there we go. Shoot this. I know our motorcycle didn't like come with us, but don't worry, he'll, he'll be there. There we go. Nope. Oh, down we go. I like to think that the reason we attack this is because you know it was like a mine, but this is also where they hid their forces when they attacked our capital or planet or whatever. Oh. It's a Genesis game. Sometimes you have to make up your own story. Because <laughs> look, now we're in this, like, underground bunker, you know, place for holding fighters and stuff. Um, I usually do this mostly from inside the, uh, the X-Up. Because there's a couple of these guys that come out from behind uh, the doors. You'll see in a second. It actually looks really cool. They did a good job of, like, scaling and stuff as they come out. Whoosh. There we go. I mean, this is this is pretty easy. I'm going to switch to the laser thing. Well, I guess I didn't really explain that. So, we'll see it in the boss fight, because it's the weapon I use for the boss. There we go. Oh, fell into that. Not a big deal. Alright. Yeah, good. Oh, see, here's the boss. He has multiple forms, and so the way this laser works, if I were to hold it down, you see it goes around. And I think on regular enemies, but not bosses, uh, oh, <laughs> it'll lock on when it hits them. So we want him to, yeah, fire his laser. And now he'll just ram into us. So we don't... There we go. Done and done. First two levels of Ranger X done. Um... So I think we'll maybe we'll watch the uh, we'll watch the next cutscene, and then we'll uh, that'll be it for today. And hopefully you've enjoyed watching Ranger X. I love playing it. Uh, we're gonna play through this whole game. I don't guarantee that we're gonna play through every game I do a mech game for. Some of them are just gonna be awful, but you know that's what they're there for, right? Uh, and so if I if a game's awful or a game is just you know pretty much unbeatable like uh, Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam, where there's a million different paths and stuff, then we're not going to play through all of it. And that's just that's just going to be the way it is. But uh, so we're going to do this, and then I think the next game might be a Gundam game. We'll see. I'm also thinking about maybe doing a mech RPG. Um, I haven't decided, so we'll see. And uh, we'll continue doing videos with Shay once she feels better. So thanks for watching, and yeah, have a good one.